How about it, Kid Denistein? Found the trail of a couple of horses, but it faded out up on the ridge. Joel Morton, General Delivery, Marengo, California. We catch a lot of killers, amigo, but always we have something to go on. This time there is nothing. Well, we have this much to go on. We know for sure it was two men. Here may be a way to get him back to town. Uh, let's load them in and then go on ahead with the bad news. Hey, Demi, we look low and we look high, and still we have no place to lay our heads. Yeah, we've tried every place else now. Let's try the hotel. El Toro! Bella, Tolina. What are you doing here in Morango? Just coming to work. I am hostess for the hotel. I run the dance hall. Verdad? Oh, glad I am to see you. Uh, my good friend, Kit Carson. Kit, this is Senorita Tolina, the best dancer I ever hold in my arms. Our pleasure, Senorita, especially since you can help us get a room at the hotel tonight. Room? Oh, senor, that hotel is so full, they are sleeping men three in a bed. But surely for El Toro you could use your influence with the boss. The last time I asked favor for a gentleman friend, they let him sleep on a billiard table. Toro! Oh, how nice to see you. Imagine meeting you. What are you doing here? Same old job. Keeping cases on the faro game in the hotel. Well, then you already know Senorita Tolina. And how, dearie? Yeah, well, you don't know my friend, Kit Carson. Kit, this is Faronel, the best lady gambler I ever hold. Deuces against her. <laughs> Say, I'm just opening the game. Come on in and try your luck. I'm just opening the dance hall. Come on, let's do our fandango again. Will you shut up? I saw him first. So what? I've known El Toro ever since I started playing cards. What a long memory you have, dearie. That must be all of 30 years ago. Why, you frazzled up, she go? You'll never see 40 again. Is that so? Yes, that's all. Toro, come back here, Toro. I got myself cut in two pieces. No, thank you, senorita. Sorry, ladies. We have business with Judge Paxson. Here's the wagon. Terrific, all right. Oh. Oh, dear, I nearly got trapped. You're a very nice muchacho, but if you were mine, El Toro give you a good spanking. You're mighty young to be ranging the streets of a town like this. Where are you folks? Mom died, back east. Me and Pop came out to prospect for gold. Where is your father now? Up at our mine. I, I've been waiting for him, but he's awfully late. What's your name, son? Tad Morton. My papa's Joel Morton. Come on, son. We better go over and see uh, Judge Paxson. He has something important to tell you. <coughs> Come on, Tad. Buck up. You gotta be a man now. <coughs> you, you blow. You, you blow good. Bueno, that's more better. I'm, I'm sorry I caused you any trouble. What's to become of him, Judge? Well, the boy ought to be pretty well off financially. Joel Morton made a good strike, but he never registered it. He was afraid of claim jumpers. He knew he'd have to register it sooner or later. I told him that. But he said he'd rather wait until the gold fever died down and the people thinned out a bit. Tad, did your father ever tell you where the mine was located? No, but he drew a map. That must have been what the killers were after. But they never got it, Mr. Carson. No siree, because I've got it right here. Dad was afraid something might happen. So, so, so he sewed the map in the lining of my coat. There's a paper. Rip the threads, Kit, very easy. Joel Morton was smarter than I thought. This is it. I'll take that map, Judge Paxson. Do tell. 
And what have you to say about it, Mr. Keller? The same thing I have. Me and Keller are the boys' guardians. Since when? Take your hats off, you're in a court of law. Harmon's always getting a horse before the court, Judge Paxson. We mean, well, we've always liked Ted. We'd like to apply for joint guardianship. Mm. On what grounds? Well, we thought a lot of Tad's father, too. But there's a business deal. We both grub stake Joe and Martin. Any proof of that? Here's my receipt. Here's mine. Well, these seem to be in order. But this business of guardianship is a serious matter. Well, we'd see to the boys' welfare. At the Yellow Dog Saloon? No, Judge. I'll send for my old lady and set up housekeeping. Uh, just a minute, Judge. I have something to say about this. I have an interest in Tad, too. That's right. He saved my life. A and Broncos, too. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just to make sure that Tad gets extra good care, I'm going to appoint the three of you as guardians. I'll do it now. But Judge Paxson, we don't even know this, Embry. Oh, my mistake. Mr. Keller, Mr. Harmon, meet Kit Carson. And in case you wonder, Mr. Carson was General Fremont's most valued scout. What's that to us? Well, Mr. Carson will be a great help to you in seeing that young Tad is done right by. And that's exactly what this court demands. Now, you will locate the Morton mine and stake it legally for Joel Morton's son. Whatever you say, Judge. Now, can we have the map? What's the idea? Mr. Keller, first for you. Mr. Harmon, the second for you. Get the third and last one for you. Thanks. In this way, the court will see to it that you three guardians cooperate. Got to hand it to you, Judge Paxson. You'll make us work together whether we like it or not. Right. Now, you'll start for the mine within the hour. With Joel Morton dead, other men will be looking for it. And I don't want anyone to find it and claim it. We'll make camp tonight at Emigrant Spring. Is that all right with you? Sure. Yeah. We'll pack our stuff and meet you down the street. Caramba, King Solomon got nothing on Judge Paxson. Can I go to the mine with you? No, Tad. You stay in town at your own cabin. El Toro will take care of you. El Toro, a nurse's mate? Well, I can't think of a better one at the moment. But maybe Kid needs me. Uh, Tad needs you more. And don't forget you'll have a roof over your head and a uh, bunk to sleep in. Well, that is something. Come on, muchacho. So long, Mr. Carson. Uh, Carson, keep an eye on Keller and Harmon. They have as much love for that boy as they'd have for a hole in their heads. I will. And you got a good look at that map, didn't you? A darn good look. Just in case. I'll see you soon. Kip, I don't like this. I don't even know where you're going when you leave here. My part of the map is the last part. Roughly, it's 20 miles north and four miles east of Emigrant Spring. But I'll leave a trail for you, our usual sign. Bueno. Let's go, little tadpole. So long, Mr. Carson. So long, son. El Toro gonna cook for you something good. The Bronco, too? But of course. Mm. Delicioso, magnifico. You will get your belt, niño? Bronco got one, too. Yeah. You wash behind the ears? Oh, yes, Uncle Toro. Mm -hmm. Well, you're a good muchacho. You tell the truth. And that is good. You must always tell the truth, little tadpole. Bueno, now it's... Bless this house, bless this food, and take care of my dad. Amen. It smells good. What is it? Something to put hairs on your chest. Chile con carne con frijoles. What's frijoles? You live in California and you do not know frijoles? No. Well, they are the gift of heaven. They are the stuff of life. With frijoles, a man is king. Without them, is nothing. Yes. But what is it? Beans. Beans? We don't have any beans in the house. Well, 
at the hotel, I buy two dinners with the help of a senorita who likes me very much. All I do is build the fire and warm the pot. What did you buy for Bronco? Ah, Chihuahua Bronco, I forget. But he has teeth the same as us. But already you got hairs on your chest. All right, little doggy, you eat. Suddenly, I don't like chili con carne con frijoles. Senorita. Why aren't you glad to see your little Pero now? Senorita, it is a great honor that you make the call. But tonight I'm busy. I'm a man of duty. Now, come, I take you back to the casino. Oh, I've quit that gambling game job. Silencio, the little orphan, he's sleeping. I'll do is get rid of that mutt. With all the money he's going to have, my stepson can afford the best of everything. What you said? Do I hear you right? Oh, yes. Didn't I tell you, Toro? I'm Tad's stepmother. Huh? Since when? Why, well, since I married his old man, of course. We got hitched last week in Madeira. You got proof? Well, you don't think I'd be caught with this, do you, if I didn't have a reason to sport it? Very good reason. The boy has money. Senorita, I insist. Oh, you stupid chump. How much you safely to the casino? Well, I could have a dozen men throw you out when we got there. Anyway, you're the one that's leaving. Not little now. I told you that I'm in charge of the boy. I'm a man of duty. Suit yourself, fat boy. Stick around. And then try to explain to Junior. <laughs> Senorita, for the last time, I cannot permit you... Shh. Silencio yourself. See how you like it. Patoro, you could help me unhook, couldn't you? <laughs> Trouble is, we've got one guardian too many. And one part of the map too few. Never mind. Take it easy. Just wait for an opening. A good target for a sure shot. And I don't have to move an inch. Too good. I got respect for a man who's got nerve enough to turn his back on me. A man who turns his back on me is plain stupid. Hold it. How do you know he hasn't got El Toro staked out there watching every move we make? We've just got to get his part of the map. Otherwise, we'll never locate the kid's gold mine. We'll get it, all right. But remember, Judge Paxson is Carson's friend. Whatever happens to Carson has got to look like an accident. About time we turned in, isn't it? Big day ahead of us tomorrow. Especially if we find the Martin mine has been taken over by claim jumpers. Yeah, we better make sure that our guns are ready for trouble. How's your old equalizer, Keller? I don't know. It has spring triggers mighty touchy. Before we can have any trouble at the mine, we better locate the mine. Uh, I'll have a look at my part of the map. Tell me the great Kit Carson can't read a map. I can read the military maps, but this one's not too clear. Oh, now, wasn't that clumsy of me? But when you've got something in your hand that means a fortune to an orphan, naturally you get kind of nervous. I'll say you did. Oh, but you don't have to worry. I memorized my part of the map that locates the mine. Well, hadn't you better redraw it before you forget it? Oh, not me. I couldn't forget it if I tried. I'm getting some shut eye. Same here. <clears throat> Uncle Toro! Uncle Toro! Oh, so there you are. 
Buenos dias, muchacho. When I woke up and you were gone, I was sure worried. Ah, my little tadpole. Say, who's that woman in the house anyway? You wait here. I get rid of her. Ted! Are you expecting someone, senor? How did you get here? The door was open. And who has a better right to enter? What are you talking about? The right of a stepmama to her dear little son. Caramba, my tadpole got stepmamas like his dog got fleas. And where did you marry with his papa? In Madera? Of course. And it is too bad about the fire they have there last week. It burned all the county records. A fun place to get married in. Last week. You don't believe me? Mira, look! With his own hands, my poor dead husband put this ring on this finger. Ay de mi. And now, where is his son? My son, the pride and joy of my widowed years. Feliz! Come in, my poor niño. What are you doing here? I am the boy's stepmother. Well, it just so happens that I am. You lie. Well, so do you, but anyway, I beat you to it so very much. Remember, ladies, you are ladies, I hope. Now, to settle this, I suggest that you both leave. Me? Run out on a gold mine? What kind of lucky you think I am? Get out, you oh, well, turn of your butt. Oh, I'll turn your butt. The great El Toro. <laughs> well, anyway, you saved us from a hair pulling. Uh, I'll uh, make a deal with you. Fifty-fifty? Oh, no, no, no. Two stepmothers bigger me. For which I have been in jail before. All right. For one-third of the boy's money, I vamos. I bucket my claim. Will you shake on it? And uh, you better take off that wedding ring. It's leaving green marks already. <laughs> you know, little tadpole, that you are in my charge. Yes, Uncle Toro. And that I'm supposed to protect you from all dangers? Yes, Uncle Toro. Then I advise you to go to the courtroom of Judge Paxson. But what'll I tell him? Tell him that all of a sudden you got two stepmamas. He will understand. Yes, but he will want to know where you are. Tell him I've gone to ride after Kit Carson. We have a situation here so bad that only Senor Carson can settle it. Adios. That's as far as my map goes. I hope you haven't forgotten the part you burned up last night. I know the location of the mine. Come on. Come on. Fruitcake quartz. So it is. Gold nuggets as big as raisins and a Christmas cake. This is really rich. For Tad's sake, I hope it is. Let's have the sample. I'll take some more and you boys ride up and set up the corners of the boys' claim. Right. right. Located. Keller and Harmon, partners. Think we can get away with it? Just like we've gotten away with all the rest of them. I dated this notice so you're back. What do you think? Same as we took off the old man yesterday. The markers are all in. Let's get back to town and register. What's your hurry? I'd like to ride up and check the markers. What for? 
Just a formality. Did you put them up in Ted Morton's name instead of your own? Put your guns in the diggings. Get on your horses. Come on, quit stalling. You run those hombres up pronto. Now they'll try to file a boy's claim for themselves. Huh? We've got to beat him to the mining register. On your feet. Get on your horses. Back so soon, Kit? What's this? You can relieve them of their legal duties. They killed the boy's father, all right. Can you prove it? Just let him try. Keller had this in his pocket. This specimen came from the Morton mine. Then you found the claim. Identical, aren't they? Same formation, exactly. Keller didn't know the exact location of the mine when we started out, but he had this in his pocket, which came from the mine. You couldn't possibly have gotten a hold of this unless you took it off Morton's body after you killed him. I found that on a trail yesterday. You're now on another trail, to the hanging tree. I have no doubt the jury will convict them. Especially since they registered the mine in their own names instead of Tad Morton's. Take them to the lockup, El Toro. You'll have a good home with the judge, son. And so will Bronco. Thanks for being my guardian, Mr. Carson. And you too, Uncle Toro, for taking such good care of me. So long, little spat bull. It was nothing, but nothing. El Toro is too modest. I understand he had his hands full protecting the boy from his would-be stepmothers. El Toro is never at a loss when it comes to handling women. <laughs> well, goodbye, Judge. Goodbye, kid. Good luck. Bye, son. Bye. 